channel I'm so glad you stopped by today because today we are gonna try something that I have not done before I've seen a few other people do this where they make their own eyeballs out of resin and I've always wanted to do it so today I'm gonna try and do it for the first time so today we're gonna be doing our own epoxy resin eyeballs and hopefully we can use them for our creatures in the future anyways let's get started Okay guys, so the first thing that we need for our project is going to be a mold to cast our eyes. Now I found this at my local art store, but I'm going to leave a link down below so you guys can find it online. So how we're going to end up doing this is we're going to have to make different layers of resin, different colors to make the iris, pupil, and any other detail that we want. So this is going to have to dry in between each layer. You're welcome to pour it all at once, but you do risk messing up the perfect circle of the pupil. So the first pour that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be mixing up a little bit of white in my resin and this is going to be kind of like a little shimmer off to the side. So I have my little mold propped up on something that way I can have this dry on the side of the circles instead of right in the middle because that's where the pupil is going to go. So I have my resin mixed up. I've added a little bit of white paint to add some color to it and I'm just going to be dripping this into the mold. Try to take your time with this, that way you don't get any extra drips anywhere else, that your resin only goes where you want it. So after I have all my little white drips in place in the mold, I'm going to set this off to the side to dry. Now the kind of resin that I'm using is an epoxy resin. It is a craft quality type of resin, so it takes normally about 12 to 24 hours to dry. If you use more industrial type, sometimes it can take 7 or even 10 days to dry. So I do recommend getting a craft quality resin. At least for small projects like this, you really don't need anything stronger than craft quality. Okay, so after our white spots have dried, we're going to lay our mold completely flat now, and now we're going to be pouring the resin for the pupil. So I've mixed a little bit of black in my resin this time, and I've made a lot more of it, and we're going to start pouring this in. So again, like last time, you want to take your time pouring the resin, that way you can get a perfect circle. Also, when you're doing this, this affects the size of the pupil, so you can kind of pour less or more, depending on what you want the eye to look like. Now on some of these, I'm just going to fill them completely with black and not add an iris to it, just because I want to see how that turns out. And then I did a row that has just a little bit of a pupil, and then the bottom row is going to have kind of a wider pupil. So again, we're going to have to let this sit and cure, and then we can start adding the irises. Now this is where you can start adding a lot of color to the piece, and I'm even going to add glitter to it just for fun. I thought this would be a fun way to get a little bit more shimmer to the eyes. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I've got a bunch of different colors of glitter and I'm going to start adding them to the molds. So I'm going to try and make a few different pairs that match, but I do want to make a bunch of different types of eyes. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of glitter into the mold of the color that I want. I'm going to move it around a bit so it's nice and dispersed, and then I'm going to pour my resin for the iris. So the iris, I'm also going to add a little bit of color here and there, but I'm going to change it up for each pair of eyes. Now there really isn't any method to my madness right now, I'm just kind of experimenting with the color of the resin and the color of the glitter just to see what turns out. So I'm just kind of guessing at what color of glitter is going to work with what color of resin. So I'm just going to keep applying glitter and resin to my eyes, I'm going to get all my molds completely filled, and then we just need to set this aside to cure one final time. Okay, so it's been about 24, almost 48 hours since I poured everything and everything is solid and cured and we can start taking them out of the molds. So for this mold, we just need to kind of stretch it a little bit, be careful not to distort it too much, and everything should pop loose really easy. Okay, so the first ones that I'm going to pop out are going to be the black ones. I just kind of want to see how they turned out and they're kind of the simple ones that I'm not really excited for. Honestly, they're not bad, and I will definitely end up using them, but I kind of want to have a lot more detail to my eyes. Depending on the type of style you're working with, this could work if you want like a solid black eye, but honestly, I think I want a bit more color with them. Okay, so the next two pairs of eyes that we did were red, and then I did two different colors of glitter. I did a gold glitter in one pair, and then I think I did a pink glitter in the other pair. 
Both of these honestly came out really good. The gold settled a bit more around the iris and kind of created a ring, which I kind of like. And then the pink kind of blended a bit more into the red resin. Ooh, okay, so these are our purple with gold glitter. I think these are so far my favorite. I really like how the gold faded to the purple. It didn't create like an over drastic ring. It did actually blend quite well. So I'm really happy with this pair. And then we have a second pair of purple eyes and these I used a green glitter instead of a yellow. So for some reason the green glitter didn't want to disperse. It kind of settled around the pupil a bit more. So I'm not really thrilled with how this one came out. I may have added just too much glitter. And then lastly, I have a pair of blue eyes with blue glitter, and these came out really good. The glitteriness is nice and subtle, but you can still see it. But yeah, these are all the eyes that we made with just one mold. These came out really good. So far, I'm really happy with about 80% of them. So for the first time doing this, that's really good. Okay guys, and that's how I made my own eyeballs out of resin. I had so much fun with this. Now yesterday I did upload a video where I actually used a pair of these eyeballs, so if you want to see that, I'll leave a link down below so you don't miss it. We did a scrap fabric challenge, and it was a lot of fun. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. I will see you guys next time. Bye!